Hi, this is Kay with Girl Meets Meeple, and today I'll be unboxing Marvel United. This is a Simon and Spin Master game, and I'm actually unboxing this really, really quickly, I hope, because when this arrived, my five-year-old saw it and was like, oh, mommy, is this one I get to play with you? Let's play it now. So she's very excited. We will be playing it this weekend for sure. I actually bought it because it looked like it would be family friendly. So I'm not expecting anything too, uh, too deep here, but I am excited to get my hands on this. So we have our rule book. Nice, bright images. Clear images of the components, that's always good. Lots and lots of diagrams and pictures to go with everything. Looks clear and it looks very nice. We have some tokens, good quality, and another sheet of tokens. Very nice. Oops, sorry, didn't knock you around there. This is a pretty nice little insert for a game of this must not be. Let's see. So we have some locations here. The New York Police Headquarters, Times Square, Shield Helicarrier, Shield Headquarters, Central Park, Stark Labs, Avengers Tower, Avengers Mansion. These are just little card stocks. Or not card stock, they're like card quality. And we have Red Skull and his card, Ultron, and Taskmaster. And whatever this is, the villain dashboard. Let's take a look at these minis. Not everyone wants to look at those. These are definitely chibi style. They are cute, not super detailed. Painting them should be a pretty simple task. I don't know where they came from. Look at a couple more of these. Like these are all over the internet probably. And Wasp, Wasp looks really cool. Like the little dice. And Black Widow. I like that they all have their own little terrain bases there. That will make them a lot of fun. Iron Man, looking forward to him. And let's take a look at Captain Marvel. Well, they are cute, but I don't know that I love the huge head look. They're all very broad. I don't think they look heroic like this, but I am excited that my little is wanting to play them. So that is a major win. So this is a co-op game. I believe it plays one to four, but I'm not positive on that. I probably should have looked at that before I started the video. I will glance at that in just a moment. But this is a co-op where you will be the heroes fighting against the uh, the villains. So we've got the villain cards here, it looks like. Each of them have their own back. Defeat thugs, rescue civilians, clear threats. And then here are the individual cards. We've got elite thugs, explosive traps, entangling traps, and more of Taskmaster's cards. I'm not sure what these symbols mean, but there's not a lot of symbology on these cards, so I'm not expecting a super deep, complicated game, but that's great because I plan to play with it with my family, so hoping this will be a good family game. Lots of Ultron cards. Oh, here we go. These are Red Skulls, Crossbones, Madam Hydra, Bob, Agent of Hydra, Bob. Okay, Hydra Elite Troops, Subversion, and you know, more like we've seen for the others. 
All right, so let's take a look at the hero cards. Look, we have one single little cube in here. That's interesting. The only cube in here. I wonder what the cube is for. It's a very bright artwork on the back of these cards that tell you who they belong to. And very clear on the front as well. And it's very reading independent here. We've got a couple words here, leadership. And Black Widow. She has interrogate. Looks like each of them only have one truly unique card, though I think the different symbols that show up on their card are dependent on who they are. Iron Man. Now these symbols, I think whatever shows up next to them they can do as well or something. I've seen something about it. I followed the campaign, but I'm not 100% sure how to play it. Power Recharge. Hulk Smash. Not surprising. It's what he's best at, right? Captain Marvel has a Photon Blast. Ant-Man. Guessing something quantum. Shrink. Eh, close enough. And Wasp. Also has Shrink. You cannot take any damage until the beginning of your next turn. Nice. And Wings. And energy projection. Okay, now I have to go back and look if any of the others have three different things. Captain America has leadership that all do the same thing, but they have different things on the bottom. Black Widow's interrogate is identical across the board. Iron Man does have different things. Stark resources, advanced combat analysis, and power recharge. Hulk just smashes. Same thing across the board. The Photon Blast, identical. And Ant-Man has three different abilities. So, some of your heroes will have a lot of the same things to do, and some of them will have, you know, three different options. So, this will be interesting. Hopefully I will have a review up soon. Thank you so much for watching, and happy gaming! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And to see what I've been up to most recently, check out my Instagram. And for all our written reviews, please go to our blog. Thanks so much and happy gaming!